time to meet our special guest quiz master, and he really needs no introduction, but we wanted to do one anyway. Please welcome Tim Minchin. Mr. Tim Minchin. Mr. Tim Minchin! MasterCard Best New Musical. Groundhog Day. When I grew up, Matilda. Tim Minchin. Matilda the Musical. Tim Minchin. Matilda! This is the way the baby Jesus made it. <laughs> Please welcome Tim Minchin. <laughs> We are, we are honoured, and um, yeah, you've just arrived from London. It was the uh, movie uh, of Matilda's premiere. Yes, it was. It was very exciting. It opened the London Film Festival, and it went really well. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's quite emotional. Really. Do you, how do you do? You like red carpet uh, opening events? I like the the red carpet's always fine, although you never really learn how, how to, to stand here. Sort of, uh, I'm never ha happy with how I look. Um, I sort of. Um, uh, <laughs> I find the events really good and I love the whatever, you know, watching the movie with people for the first time sure. was amazing. Uh, you always think, oh, the after party's going to be awesome and it never is because you just end up talking to 100 people you don't know. Yes, that's pretty <laughs> much <laughs> Sorry, okay. Tom, can you explain to Tom what an after party is? Oh. <laughs> uh, after party's like where sociable people interact. Yeah, I tend, yeah. <laughs> I tend to go home. Yeah. Now, a uh, pretty impressive cast with Matilda. The, the movie there, there's many of them there. Uh, Emma Thompson, mm -hmm. Lashana Lynch, who's mm -hmm. absolutely incredible, playing Miss Honey. Yes. In, in a role that's so opposite to the roles sure. you've already seen her in. And this amazing kid called Alicia Weir playing Matilda, and it's, it's the most extraordinary child performance I've ever seen in my life in wow. anything ever. And, uh, oh, yes, look, you never gave me feedback on my audition. No. Uh, <laughs> um, no, I, that, that was very deliberate, yeah. <laughs> Take that for what it is, I, I think, don't want to hurt anyone. Now, you've got a, a crazy couple of months coming up, uh, Tim. Season two of Upright yep. returns on Foxtel. That's uh, you and Millie there getting along on, on <laughs> yeah, set. Yeah. And um, now, Millie Alcock, when she did season one with you, she was... Yeah. An actor, yeah, and then she went and got cast in something pretty major. Yeah, she she played. I think the character's name was Renera in the first five episodes of House of the Dragon, Ooh. which is the biggest TV show ever made, or wow. something. And then she did that for a year, mm -hmm. and kind of was in this show that was twenty million dollars an episode, and she was like hanging out with famous people and stuff. And then she had to come straight back to Australia and spend twelve <laughs> weeks in Queensland with me. <laughs> and she was so thrilled. She Absolutely. <laughs> Now you've got a huge live show coming up, Tim. You're doing you're doing the forecourt at the Sydney Opera House. Yeah, and and the uh, Palace Foreshore in mm -hmm. Melbourne. Mm -hmm. That's just, yes. I don't know why they're both happening. I think it's sort of different gigs, but the Opera House shows um, part of this celebration of the 50 year anniversary of sure. that extraordinary building, which I love. And then yeah, in Melbourne, where I haven't played for a little while, and they're mm. just I'm I'm very excited and nervous. Because, yes, yes. yes you hi. need someone to play guitar. Uh, <laughs> I, you're, Actually, it's an, I do, and, I, and I've, I've got him. Yeah. So, <laughs> absolutely. So, absolutely. Yeah. You've, you've played some massive venues, Wembley and O2 Arena. Mm. Do you get freaked out stepping out in front of audiences of that size? I don't get freaked out. Increasingly, I... It's just that, like, I want to be good. And the further you go in your career, the less people are going to be surprised if you're fine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, so, um, you know, when I first started, if I was just competent, people would go, that was awesome. Yeah. And now if I'm competent, people go, well, that was a disappointment. It was $109, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the, the bar. Now, Tim, somehow over the last year, you've found time to write a book. Oh, well, uh, yeah, sure. No, talk it up. <laughs> oh, this is sometimes you have to be a little bit naughty. Mm -hmm. Steve Anthony, this beautiful British illustrator, mm -hmm. this is the second time he's illustrated lyrics from... Um, the, it's a Matilda song sure. made into a book, so it's just me exploiting previously existing intellectual property. <laughs> and nothing wrong, <laughs> nothing wrong with that. All right, Tim has kindly agreed to ask some questions. You've got the cards there, Tim. Let's dive into it. All right. A new Spotify record for the most streamed album in a single day was just broken. What is the name of the album? Tony. I know this one is the new Taylor Swift album. I think it's called uh, 25 Bawdy Rugby Songs. I think Tony's close enough there. What do you think, Tim? Can you give it to him? Oh, no, definitely not, because the question oh. was what was the album? Oh, no, no, no. What is the name of the album? From Midnight, is it? No, definitely uh, not. Do you want to know Taylor's album can name? A, can we have a clue? What's it's, uh, the, it's more than one midnight. Ursula. Um, Taylor Swift's Loads of Midnights. Yes, very good. Uh, it's Midnights. I, I'm, I know I'm being an arsehole. <laughs> I'm enjoying the power. Wow. Uh, Tim. Uh, Australian fans of Bjork got what exciting <laughs> news? Kitty. Is that you, Luke? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that is actually the aforementioned uh, that... singer, yeah, songwriter. Uh, Ursula. Is she touring? 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's touring. What year? Yeah. Um, 2024. No, 23. You oh. lose. <laughs> Uh, she's playing the Perth Festival. Um, uh, my friend, my my friend Ian Grandage, the artistic director, and he obviously, f I don't know how he got to her. She's got amazing. Excellent. So you're not giving the points to Ursula? Uh, no, definitely not. Oh, okay. <laughs> she's got well, a no, no, yeah, no, that's uh, that was right. She's touring. Yeah. That's okay. Right. All right, we'll give them to Ursula. Uh, next question, please, Tim. Oh, it feels <laughs> powerful. So powerful. Is this how it feels like to be you all the time? Just <laughs> infinite power. No, Pretty much. No, no, Presenting comes with a lot more fear. Than oh, it's true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Listen, so, listen, you don't have to lean on the lectern to stand up like he does. <laughs> I can, I can, no, I'm good. Here you go. Um, Tim, he's cash. Which, which celebrity tweeted this intimate picture on Ooh. Wednesday? Oh, Ursula. It is so embarrassing. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Why did he do it? Look, because I got that new headboard oh, and nice. I was like, you know what? It wasn't. Just the headboard, I'll do the whole... Yeah. Here's the sponsorship. Wasn't, uh, wasn't Ursula. So anyone else want to have a crack? Who tweeted that uh, intimate picture? But if we admit we know it, then we're admitting to looking up <laughs> naked pictures. <laughs> so do you want the points or the shame? <laughs> Luke? It's Brittany. Who? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Spears. Thank you, Luke. I think it's shameful enough to admit you're still on Twitter, mate. So, uh, <laughs> I'm still on Twitter. Yep. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jim. another question. George Clooney shared a personal story. I started writing her. You wrote her? A bunch of letters. Like on pen and paper? Yeah. <gasps> we still write letters. Who is he still writing letters to? Ursula. Mrs. Claus, he got sick of writing to Santa. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing comes back. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't. Uh... Tony, who's he writing letters to? Uh, the editor of Penthouse Forum. <laughs> 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 Ursula. No, it's his wife. Yeah, his wife. Yeah. And what's her name? Akmal. <laughs> <laughs> his wife, Amal. Yes, yeah. as you're thinking oh, of yeah. the point. Yeah. Yeah. We have to take a break. You can see Tim live at the Opera House Forecourt and the Palace Foreshore in St Kilda. Watch him in Upright on Foxtel or just read the latest book. Would you please thank the Oprah TV? Yeah.